Welcome, wonderful selves. I'm Marco, quantum soul guidance and galactic astrology practitioner. We have a major solar uh, cosmic event coming up on October 2nd, a solar eclipse. It's happening at 10 degrees and 3 minutes of Libra. This is a powerful eclipse that brings things of balance, harmony and karmic release. As some of you may know, solar eclipse is like um, marks new beginnings. It is like a new moon. However, will feel its um, influence for up to six months after the event, with the strongest changes happening, unfolding over the first month. So in today's video, uh, we'll look at how the solar eclipse will impact each zodiac sign and um, we'll offer some tips on how to harness the powerful energy for healing, balance and cosmic alignment. But what is alive for me um, at this moment and what I want to share with you is um, the fact that Salt Node, which is close by uh, Moon and the Sun in Libra, is conjunct super galactic center. The super galactic center is a massive black hole located in the constellation Virgo at 2 degrees and 23 minutes of Libra. It's not just a typical point in the sky. Its gravitational pull influences an entire cluster of galaxies, including our own. In astrology, it represents a cosmic gateway connected to profound spiritual growth, soul alignment and the potential for massive transformation. Its energy can feel karmic, pulling us toward collective or solo level missions. Since the salt node relates to past lives, karmic patterns and what we are meant to release, this alignment with supergalactic center creates an intense cosmic signature. There are some themes that come to mind. The salt node in Libra represents relationships, partnerships and pattern of co-pendency or imbalance. When conjunct the supergalactic center, this speaks to deep karmic release, particularly related to collective or soul level relationships. There may be a strong pull to resolve imbalances, unfairness or outdated relationship dynamics that have been carried over from the past, whether in this life or from other lifetimes. On personal level, people may find that all relationship patterns or unresolved karmic issues suddenly surface, especially those that have roots in past lives. There is an opportunity to heal these at a solar level, allowing for deeper liberation from the past. For the collective, this could represent a period where larger social or relational dynamics seek resolution, like movements toward justice, fairness and cooperation. The supergalactic center represents a portal to higher consciousness, an alignment with one's soul mission. When the salt node connects with it, people may be drawn to realign themselves with their true spiritual path, especially by shedding relationships or commitments that no longer serve that higher calling. Many may feel a magnetic pull toward healing and moving toward soul contracts that are more aligned with their current spiritual path. People who have been stuck in unbalanced or toxic relationships may feel an overwhelming need to release those ties, creating space for more meaningful connections. In a larger sense, this could lead to increased awareness around spiritual partnerships, both personal and global, that help humanity evolve. 
This conjunction speaks to a potential cosmic reset in how relationships function, especially those that need to be more balanced, fair or cooperative. Libra is the sign of relationships, and the supergalactic center's immense influence suggests that major shifts in relationship dynamics could be soul-driven, pushing individuals and the collective toward higher levels of balance, fairness, and peace. Old relationships may fall away, not just in romantic partnerships, but in friendships, family ties, and even social structures. There is a sense of being drawn toward higher vibration connections, relationships that reflect a more evolved, conscious way of interacting. We can expect people to seek harmony in relationships, but also to set boundaries that help maintain balance. On a global level, the supergalactic center and south node conjunction should speak to collective healing process. Since the south node points to past wounds and Libra governs justice and equality, this may trigger large-scale shifts around themes of social justice, diplomacy, and fairness. The supergalactic centers amplify these themes, giving them cosmic importance. We may see resurgence of efforts to correct social imbalances, whether through diplomacy, movements for social justice, or collective push toward greater fairness and equality. People may feel a stronger connection to universal truths or spiritual justice with a focus on healing collective karmic wounds related to injustice, inequality, and imbalanced power structures. I would like to offer a few practical ways to navigate this energy. Reflect our karmic patterns in relationships Spend some time considering where imbalances have persisted in your life, particularly in relationships. Ask yourself if you're holding on to partnerships that no longer serve your growth or purpose. Embrace change in relationships. Be open to releasing old relationships that no longer align with your higher purpose. The supergalactic center's influence is potent and may bring fated endings or new beginnings that are in service to your soul's journey. Connect with your soul mission. Use the eclipse energy to meditate or journal on your soul's purpose and whether the people and situations in your life are supporting that. If not, this is the time to clear space for what is truly aligned. Collective healing practices. Participate in activities or groups that promote social justice, fairness and balance in the world. Since this eclipse affects the collective, acts of kindness or justice will ripple out in profound ways. The conjunction between the supergalactic center and the south node during the solar eclipse is a rare and powerful event, pointing to a time of deep karmic release and cosmic realignment. This energy opens a doorway to healing not only personal relationships, but also collective social wounds, making it a potent moment for spiritual growth and transformation. This is truly galactic karma we're working through, and the healing work we do during this time can have ripple effects for beyond Earth, impacting the cosmos and realigning us with our soul's highest purpose. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and share with anyone and everyone that you think will benefit from this information. Also, let me know in the comments if you have planets in Libra or if you're feeling this eclipse energy already. I'd love to hear how it's showing up for you. 
But what makes this event even more profound is the conjunction with Lilith and Mercury, as well as Vertex being pr present uh, in Libra at the same time. Let's break it down. Lilith in Libra highlights the shadow aspects of our relationships and personal power. Lilith calls for empowerment and breaking of chains, especially in areas where we may feel repressed or held back. In Libra, this energy helps us to reclaim our voice and autonomy in relationships, while also seeking balance uh, and justice. Mercury enhances the Eclipse's message of clear communication and mental balance. It's a great time for making thoughtful decisions, rethinking how we relate to others and aligning our mind with deeper spiritual insights this Eclipse brings. The Vertex adds a fated or destined quality of this moment. The, verte the vertex is like a cosmic doorway to transformative encounters or events that can shift our paths in significant ways. So this eclipse is a gateway to balance, healing and spiritual evolution. And what we release during this time will create a ripple effect not just in our own lives, but um, across the cosmos, helping us and the universe realign with a state of harmony and cosmic balance. Now, let's dive into how this eclipse might manifest for each zodiac sign. Listen to this for your rising sign as it shows which area of life this eclipse will impact most. You can also check your sun and moon signs for fuller picture. Aries. This eclipse activates your seventh house of partnerships, sp spotlighting your closest relationships. You are being called to release any patterns of imbalance or power struggles in your relationships. Lilith in Libra suggest it's time to stand in your personal power while still seeking harmony. The super galactic center energy adds a deeper layer, hinting that some of these dynamics may have roots in past lives or even soul contracts from other dimensions. So set boundaries that honor your individuality while working towards partnership harmony this is a time to release any imbalances that keep you from fully expressing your true self in relationships taurus the eclipse in your sixth house of health and daily routines urges you to evaluate your relationship with self-care. Lilith's influence highlights any self-neglect or overgiving to others, while Mercury encourages you to rethink your routines. The supergalactic center adds a karmic dimension, suggesting that the way you treat your body and mind could be tied to ancestral or past life patterns. So create routines that honor your body's needs and release any habits that drain your energy. The cosmic alignment offers you the opportunity to realign with a healthier, more balanced way of living. Gemini the eclipse lights up your fifth house of creativity, romance and inner child. Lilith brings up themes of reclaiming your voice in creative or romantic endeavors, especially if you felt repressed or unable to express yourself fully. 
the supergalactic center influence, suggests that any creative blocks or fears around romance may stem from karmic patterns or even galactic level experiences. Let go of any fears around fully expressing yourself. Use this time to engage in activities that bring you joy and allow your creativity to flow freely. Cancer. This eclipse hits your fourth house of home and family, bringing up deep karmic themes related to your roots, family dynamics, and even ancestral karma. With Lilith's presence, there may be unresolved family power struggles or shadow issues to address. The supergalactic center suggests that some of these issues may extend beyond earthly ancestry and could involve galactic or soul family ties. Focus on healing family dynamics and creating a home environment that supports your soul's growth. Ancestral healing rituals or reflection on family patterns can be especially potent during this time. Leo The eclipse activates your third house of communication and learning, asking you to reflect on how you express yourself and how your mind engages with others. Lilith's influence suggests that now is the time to reclaim your voice if you've been holding back, while Mercury brings a mental clarity that helps you realign with truthful, balanced expression. The supergalactic center may indicate that you are healing karmic speech patterns from past lives or even other dimensions where your voice was silenced. So speak your truth, let go of any lingering fears around communication and trust that your voice is needed in the world. Virgo. This eclipse highlights your second house of finances and self-worth, encouraging you to re-evaluate your relationship with money and personal value. Lilith here may challenge you to break free from karmic patterns of scarcity or over dependence on material security. The supergalactic center influence suggests that these patterns could have been carried from other lifetimes or dimensions, making this a time of deep karmic release around values and self-worth. So release limiting beliefs around finances and focus on recognizing your inherent worth. This is a chance to realign with a more empowered relationship with abundance. Libra. This is a personal eclipse for you, happening in your first house of identity and self-expression. Lilith urges you to reclaim your personal power, especially in relationships where you have compromised too much. With the supergalactic center and south node aligned in your sign, the themes of karmic release and galactic healing are strong. You are letting go of lifetimes of karmic patterns that have kept you from fully embodying your true self. So focus on what truly makes you feel balanced and empowered. This is a time of deep personal transformation where you can realign with your authentic identity. Scorpio. For Scorpio, this eclipse activates your 12th house of spirituality and subconscious, 
bringing up themes of karmic closure and spiritual healing. Lilith in this house could stir up shadow work while the supergalactic center invites deep spiritual realignment. You may be healing subconscious fears or karmic wounds from past lives in other realms, offering a profound opportunity for transformation. Engage in meditation or spiritual practices to help you release old patterns. This is a powerful time for deep soul healing and renewal. Sagittarius, the eclipse lights up your 11th house of friendships, social networks and community, highlighting the relationships you've built with others. Lilith may expose any power dynamics or social imbalances that need to be addressed, while the supergalactic center suggests these connections could be karmic with ties to past lives in galactic soul groups. So align yourself with communities and friendships that support your highest growth. Release connections that no longer resonate with your soul's journey. Capricorn This eclipse activates your 10th house of career and public reputation, calling for a karmic re-evaluation of your life's work. Lilith's influence may challenge you to step into greater leadership or authority, while the supergalactic center adds a galactic level of soul mission work. You may be releasing karmic patterns around control or responsibility that have roots in past lives or other dimensions. Focus on aligning your career with your soul's mission. This is a powerful time to let go of limiting beliefs around leadership and step into your true calling. Aquarius the eclipse highlights your ninth house of beliefs, higher learning and spirituality, urging you to release outdated belief systems. Lilith suggests reclaiming your personal truth, while the supergalactic center adds a galactic layer indicating that you may be healing belief systems from past lives or other realms. So focus on expanding your worldview and let go of limiting beliefs. This is a time to embrace your higher knowledge and spiritual growth. Pisces, the eclipse lands in your eighth house of transformation, shared resources and power dynamics. Lilith brings up themes around power and control while the supergalactic center suggests that some of these dynamics may have roots in past lives or even galactic soul contracts. You're being asked to release any fears or karmic patterns around intimacy, resources and power. Embrace transformation and let go of fears around sharing or intimacy. This is a time for deep healing and empowerment. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're feeling this eclipse energy already. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay balanced and stay cosmic. Much love. Namaste.